Okay, in this video, we're going to create the uh, Places mobile app. And uh, this time, we're not going to be using the, the pro version. We're going to be using the free version. And so we're going to be creating this app. This is the app. It opens up. It knows where you are. You can select different uh, uh, place types. And it uh, displays a bunch of uh, places of that type that you selected. And you can click on one of them and it brings up a uh, rating and uh, it uh, you can see scroll down and see the the a map and you can click on the more here and the Google places page comes up so um, that's what we'll be building and so I'm going to set this aside and uh, let's get started if you uh, sign up for Ionic Creator the free version it looks like this when you log in the first time there's an upgrade now button here and you can upgrade if you want to by uh, clicking on this $19 one and you're able to enter in a uh, a coupon code here you enter in the, the coupon code I've given you and uh, make sure you select monthly and it switches over and you'll see the uh, uh, educator price that we will that we get so um, <clears throat> let's get started here we're gonna be um, creating we're gonna do step one here and basically this just we create the two pages and, uh, and then we will, uh, the next video will uh, add all the components to all the pages. So, uh, so we'll start here by, by creating a new project. And we're going to call it Places. And we're gonna, it's going to be a blank project, create project. And... Uh, <clears throat> So we're on the first page here. Let's change the title of the page to Places. And uh, that's fine for page one. Let's click on an Add Page here for page two. It's a blank page. And here we are. And let's change the title of page two to Details. Okay. And uh, you'll notice here with the instructions, this grayed out area here, if we were using the pro version, then we would actually be adding these route parameters, it says here, uh, at this time. But with the free version, we defer adding the route parameters and the angular directives, all the parts in gray here. We defer that until later on when we we uh, finish creating the pages, we export our app, and then we actually go in and add those manually. Here's where we add the route parameters manually. So you'll see how we do that. Uh, so right now we are done creating the uh, this places, the pages. And so, uh, so I'm gonna close this video out. The next video is actually the same video the next video will be the same video as I recorded if you did have the pro version. And so when you're working through that, you just skip the parts. And I'll indicate those when we get to them. Skip the parts where we add something that cannot be added if you don't have the pro version. Uh, we, can, we cannot click route parameters here because uh, we don't have the pro version. Then also down here at the bottom... Uh, we're able to add angular directives, but you see that uh, uh, we are not able to do that. The other thing is that when we add our code, we would click this button down here, and uh, we would be able to, uh, uh, a new window would slide up, and we'd be able to add our code. So, uh, so uh, but we don't need to do that because we can add all of those, all the code and all that extra stuff manually. So, uh, I'm going to close my project now, and we see now I've got a place here for, for it. And uh, so uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.